Here is an example of baseball players we have used many times before. The model relates the players' salaries to their years in major leagues, the average games played by year, and three performance variables. The null hypothesis is that these three performance variables do not affect salaries once the other two factors have been controlled for. That is to say, beta three equals beta four equals beta five equals zero in the model. They are multiple exclusion restrictions. We have applied the F test before. Now we employ the LM test. In the first step, we estimate the restricted model, the model in which the exclusion restriction is imposed. The restricted model has only two explanatory variables. We save the residuals as a new variable mu hat, using status predict command with the residuals option. In the second step, we run the auxiliary regression. We regress mu hat on all five explanatory variables. The R squared from auxiliary regression. Is automatically stored. In the third step, we compute the LM statistic by multiplying the auxiliary R squared by the sample size n. The LM statistic equals twenty six point nine two. From the statistical table. We find that the one percent critical value of the chi squared distribution with three degrees of freedom is eleven point three four. The LM statistic is greater than the critical value, so we reject the null hypothesis at the one percent significance level and conclude that the three performance variables jointly have a significant effect on the players' salaries. After controlling for the other factors in the model, alternatively, we can compute the p-value of the LM statistic using status chi two tail function. It turns out that the p-value is zero to three decimal places. It is strong evidence to reject the null hypothesis.